EA Sports, it's in the game. <laughs> NASCAR Thunder 2004.
Well, here we are at the Great American Race, the Daytona 500, the NASCAR Winston Cup Series premier event. This is Joe Moore, and I'm with Barney Hall to bring you live flag-to-flag -flag coverage on MRN. This track is known by everyone, race fan or not, but for these race teams, it's a glory all its own when you can get a win here. Well, you're right. To have your name mentioned as a former winner here at Daytona puts you on a list with some drivers that these guys have admired since they were kids. In 1999, Tony Stewart won the Rookie of the Year Award with one of the finest first seasons in NASCAR history. Three wins, two poles, and a fourth place points finish. That's a tough act to follow for any driver, and I'll bet it'll be a long time before another rookie has a coming out party that big. Ken Schrader won Rookie of the Year honors in 1985. You know, it seems like Schrader's been competing in Winston Cup for so long that it's hard to believe he was ever a rookie. He's a class act, and it shows on the racetrack and in the garage area. Ford. Starting in row two will be the singular wireless Chevrolet and the Altel Dodge. In row three are the Interstate Battery Chevrolet and the Tide Pontiac. In row four are the Team Rusty Dodge and the Stacker 2 Dodge. Rounding out the top 10 starting spots are the Dale Jr. Chevrolet and the Pennzoil Chevrolet. The sixth row has the UPS Ford and the Sterling Marlin Dodge. In row seven are the Dodge Dealers UAW Dodge and the DeWalt Power Tools Ford. Starting the race from row eight are the Granger Ford and the four car. And in row nine are the Rubbermaid Sharpie Ford and the Haviland Dodge. Starting in row 10 will be the Home Depot Chevrolet and the UAW Delphi Chevrolet. In row 11 are the Valvoline Pontiac and the DuPont Chevrolet. In row 12 are the Lowe Chevrolet and the Cheerios Dodge. Row 13 finds the Target Dodge and the Sitco Ford. The 14th row has the Pfizer Ford and the 57 car. In row 15 are the GM Goodrent Chevrolet and the U.S. Army Pontiac. Starting the race from row 16 are the BAM Racing Dodge and the Caterpillar Dodge. Row 17 has the Kellogg Chevrolet and the America Online Chevrolet. Starting in row 18 will be the O2 car and the Napa Auto Parts Chevrolet. In row 19 are the Net Zero Pontiac and the Dodge Dealers UAW Dodge. In row 20 are the 46 car and the Georgia Pacific Dodge. Back in row 21, we have the Dr. Pepper Dodge in the 27 car. And rounding out the field is the Hooters Ford.
Welcome to today's NASCAR Winston Cup Series event, the EA Sports 500, live on MRN from the Talladega Super Speedway in Alabama. We should be in for quite a show today, Barney. Lots of different opinions about this restrictor plate racing. These drivers love the speed. It's what they live for. In fact, some think they should run with no plates at all so the cars would be more spread out. Speeds would be well over 215 miles an hour. But that doesn't seem to bother most of the drivers. It's the fact that they can't break away from each other with the plates on the cars that bother them. Jimmy Johnson, who won a couple of championships in his early days as an off-road racer, came into the NASCAR Busch Series in 2000. He immediately showed a lot of consistency and picked up a full-time ride in the NASCAR Winston Cup Series in 2002. And he's been pretty impressive ever since.
That'll do it. Top 10, everyone. Let's get it packed up. Then we'll celebrate.